Last time Virial visited the camp now, they were pumped. And the coach Marcelino left the stadium saying, I've just lost a game scripted by my worst enemy. Well, his enemies must have redoubled. They must really hate him now because their preparation for the camp now this weekend is a Europa League trip to freezing cold Minsk and a 15 hour return journey from Belarus. Only if they travelled in this 1850s prototype could the Yellow Submarine have worse build up to the game. Don't back a 0 0 draw because in the last 10 meetings there's been 32 goals. Look at the referee, Klaus Gomez has never run a Barcelona defeat, whereas Villarreal have only won 10 out of 18 under him, and he's shown them five red cards. Neymar and Suarez have 17 of the 20 goals Barca have scored since Messi got injured. Back either of them anytime, back a home win. And all together now, in the town where I was born, lived a man. It's all hands on deck at the Sanchez Pizjuan this Sunday night for the visit of Real Madrid. Because frankly, Sevilla are all at sea. If you're a fan of Unai Emery, you'll hope he wins this one because the foolish media and the morons in the stands held a poll during the week and 60% of them said he was to blame for Sevilla's ropey form this season, not the fact they sold their best two players in the summer. You'll have this down, I guess, as a Real Madrid away win. If so, call it 1-0 because Benitez's team has become hard to score against. I think a fighting score draw. Sevilla hate the sight of these white shirts. They'll rally Jose Antonio Reyes to score against his old team. Maybe Modric to equalise. A point for Sevilla and respite for Admiral Unai. Adios. Okay, time to take some money off Paddy Power. A bar at home to Hetafe on Saturday, back the Basques, Borja Baston opening goal. Speaking of Basques, Athletic to rule the San Mamas against the Espanol and win comfortably, Arif Adorif to score with a header. Hasta pronto. <laughs>